church is looking for a handyman. Are you pretty good with your hands? Well, ma'am, there's uh, nothing I can't fix. Here's the address. Redemption Road Christian Church, Reverend Clyde Clavery. It's only a couple of miles from here, just a little ways down the road. Say, son, are you saved? There's nothing more important than knowing where you're going when you die. Here, this tells you that the only way to heaven is through faith in Jesus. Oh, I know all about Jesus, lady. That's good. Well, hope to see you at the church sometime. Good luck and God bless you. Let's see here. One, two, three, four, five dollars. Just enough for a couple of beers. Hello, my name is uh, Jesse Davis. Play the same thing again. That's my favorite song, Chocolate. <laughs> Place up. What am I gonna do? I'm only gonna get the money for rent. Can't be homeless again. Twenty-five, fifty, sixty, seventy, eight, ninety. Census is my name. What is this? Redemption Road Christian Church. That was that church that old lady told me about yesterday. Well, this could be the ticket. Looks like I'm paying Reverend Clavery a visit. So uh, who was it that told you our church needed a handyman? A little old lady I met on the street. I see. Well, it's true. We definitely could use some help around the church here. So you're pretty good with your hands, are you? Yes, sir. You name it, I can fix it. I'll tell you what. Uh, we'll give it a try and see how it goes. Does that mean I got the job? Well, yes, only on a trial basis. Uh, can you start to work today? Um, well, um, yeah. Well, great. Uh, the grass around the front lawn sure needs a cutting. Uh, if all that rain we've been having lately has sure made it grow. 
Well, you just uh, lead me to the lawnmower and we'll get started. Uh, one more thing. Um, I ain't got any gas for my car and I I ain't worked in five months. Do you think that maybe I could get paid today? Eh, that shouldn't be a problem. Thanks. It's, it sounds like you've been going through some pretty rough times. I can't get much worse. Times like this when we need to put our trust in the Lord. Come in. Hi. Hello. I'm sorry, Reverend. I didn't know you had someone with you. It's our faith. Uh, this is uh, Jesse Davis. Uh, Jesse Davis, this is our secretary, Faith Williams. And uh, I've just hired Jesse to be our new handyman. Pleased to meet you, Jesse. Um, likewise, miss. What can I help you with, Faith? Well, I just finished counting the offering money. Here's the oh, box. Oh, thank you, Faith. Well, I'll leave you two alone. Well, Jesse, uh, you ready to start work? Uh, well, yeah, Reverend. Uh, that lunch was delicious, Faith. You're welcome. So, how did you hear about our church? Well, a little old lady told me about it a couple days ago when I was singing in the street. So, you're a singer? I am. I'm a singer, too. You are? Mm-hmm. Maybe we could sing a song together sometime. I'd like that, but I don't know no church songs. Well, what sort of songs do you know? Well, mostly my own. Well, then maybe I could sing them together with you sometime. How about right now? I got my guitar in my car. Sure. Okay, stay right here. I'll be right back. All right. Your voice is really pretty. Thanks. You're not so bad yourself. Well, so, have you ever thought of making a record? Yeah, yeah, but I haven't gotten around to it. Your voice is a gift from God. I'm telling you, Billy, it's going to be like taking candy from a baby. All I have to do is sneak into the Reverend's office when the coast is clear and then take the money box he keeps laying on the desk. I don't know how much is in it. A lot, I hope. I'm tired of being broke. And I need the money a whole lot more than those church people do. Oh man, I can't wait to leave this town. All I've had was bad luck since I've been here. I'm not going to miss a thing. Except for maybe Faith. Oh, she's uh, the Reverend's secretary. Billy, she's the most beautiful girl I've ever seen in my life. And sweet, too. Uh, too bad I'm not going to get a chance with her. never gonna find another chance like this again. Jesse, what are you doing? Please, put the box down. I ain't got time for this. Jesse, you're making a big mistake. Please, let me help you. Help me? I ain't worked in five months. I owe my landlord two months back rent. And come this Friday, I'm gonna be homeless. I've been eating in soup kitchens and panhandling for change since I don't know when. Let me talk to Reverend Clavery. He'll let you stay at the church. There's a cot in the basement. Then he'd actually let me stay here. Why would he help me? Because he's a good man. He's got a good heart, Jesse. Just give him a chance. Listen, I know you mean well, but it's too late for me. It's never too late. Please, I won't tell anyone. This will be our secret. I, I want to believe you, but I can't. Here. I swear on this holy Bible that I will not tell a soul. Now do you believe Why are you doing this? Ain't no one ever tried to help me in my entire life. Because I want to see you fulfill the destiny that God has for you. 
You mean a lot to me, Jesse. Okay. Okay. All right. I might live to regret this, but here, take it. You've made the right decision, Desi. This can be a whole new beginning for you, a whole new chapter to your life. Just give God a chance. Hey, that's the little old lady that invited me to the church the other day. I can't be. Why not? Well, she died five years ago. Her name is Sadie Eller. She was a missionary at our church. I'm pretty sure that's her. You must be mistaken. Ain't no mistake, I swear it. That's her. She uh, was wearing this long blue dress. Sadie always loved blue. She used to wear that blue dress all the time. Oh, Jesse, Sadie must have led you to Redemption Road. You know, the Lord does work in mysterious ways. <laughs>